and we can use those hand weights for hundreds or not. So here we go. Nice big inhale and reach those arms up and overhead. Breathe deeply and then give me just a little bit of upper back bend. And then exhale, come back into neutral. Let your head start to fall. Round down through your spine. Let your hands reach for your toes. Give me a nice big stretch here. And then exhale, gently press those hip bones forward as you round back up. Nice big inhale. We'll do it three more times. Exhale, round forward, reach for the toes. Try and keep the hips over the ankles as you come forward. And then exhale, press those hip bones forward as you round up. And nice big inhale, last three. Give me that little upper back extension at the top. Exhale, round down. Like you're diving in water, let your head be heavy. Let everything round down, get nice and heavy in your head, your arms. And then exhale, hip bones forward, get nice and tall. Two more, just like this. Inhale, big breath. Give me a little upper back extension. Exhale, round down. Belly draws up as you round up and over that imaginary object. Let it all hang out. And then exhale, feel the glutes gently pressing forward as you round up and through. Last one here, we'll hold on the down. Nice big inhale. Exhale, round down. Hold on that down. Let everything hang out. Shake your head, yes and no. Feel that nice sense of relaxing and releasing the neck. And let's walk it out into a plank for a four count, hand over hand. One, two, three, and four. And just pause, feel like you're drawing your arms back a little bit, the top of your head forward, your heels reaching back behind you. Take a nice inhale, exhale, pike the hips up high. Let your chest reach for your ankles. Let your heels lift a little, bend your knees. Sit your tailbone back and up, and then try and lengthen out the legs without changing where your tailbone is faced. Do that again. Bend the knees, stick your glutes up and behind you, lengthen out those legs. And re-bend. Two more times. Stretch and reach. Re-bend. As you bend those knees, find a little more length of the spine. Press up tall. One more, just like that. Bend the knees, flare the tail, press up tall, hold. Walk those hands back for a four count. One, two, three, four. Let everything hang out and round it back up. One more time. Take that inhale, open tall. Upper back extends. Exhale, round forward. Let everything hang out. Walk hand over hand. We go one, two, three, four, find that strong plank, heels back, top of the head forward, and let's just rock it forward and back, forward onto your toes, back into your heels, stretch, forward into the toes, back into the heels, two more times, forward and back, one more here, forward and back, hold it back there, pike the hips up and back, Walk your hands back towards your feet for that four count. Hold here. Pick up your hand weights for me and round up nice and tall. Awesome. Come towards the middle of your mat and have a seat. And we're going to take this right into hundreds and roll up. Yeah, so if you've got hand weights, grab them. If you have a band, you could take the band and wrap it around your feet and hold on to the band as we go down for 100. So your, your option, whatever props you have, or no props at all, that works as well. Arms straight out in front of you. Everybody exhale, round back into the mat. Pause on your down, reach your arms up and overhead, big stretch. Make sure those arms go straight up into the ceiling. Feel like you're punching your weights up into the sky, and then let the weight of the weights aid in the reach forward. Let's do it for five. Exhale, back into the mat, belly drops back. Inhale, big reach. Arms straight overhead. Exhale, lift, round, and come up. You've got four more. Exhale, use that breath. Inhale, big breath, big stretch. Bring the arms up. Exhale, come on up. Last three. Let the breath aid in the movement. Exhale all the breath out as you release. Inhale it all back in. And then exhale.
exhale it all back out and sit up tall less two reach it back inhale open arms to sky exhale punch it up reach it good this is our last one we'll hold it down here exhale round it back and just hold let your arms release to the floor if you've got those hand weights turn your palms downward if you don't have the weights all good you can stay here if you have the band from holding on tightly bring one leg into that tabletop position and then the other feel those inner thighs gloom together and then feel like you're reaching your arms away from your chest lifts up into the ceiling lift those arms just off the floor and start to pump inhale two three four five and exhale two three four five now start to take your legs out to your working level a little turn out right lower the legs just an inch and then lift them from your belly that other inch and again lower just that inch lift from the abs back up. lower and lift little tiny for five two three four five and exhale two three four five for four two three four five and exhale two three four five let the heart two three four five and exhale two three four five for two two three four five and exhale two three four five last one two three four five and exhale two three four five hold bend the knees in release your head down relax your feet into the mat rest your weights on your hip bones if you have them and from here we're going to bridge so you're going to press the hips up nice and tall and release it back down and again press up if you don't have weights you can do this with nothing just work through the regular series here lifting the hips up imagining those weights on your hips and release it back let's do that for four waking up the back line reach and release articulate through three hips to sky round down through the spine two more here lift the hips up release it back down last one lift the hips up hold it little tiny pulses at the top here for eight and seven and six and five and four and three and two and one hold release it all the way down nice walk your feet out just slightly wider and pigeon toe them in so big toes go towards each other heels go outward knees knock together same idea down and up come up keep those knees glued together and release back down do it five more times as you come down you may feel a bigger stretch along the back of the pelvis right at the top rim of it letting the pelvis widen behind you and changes just a little bit of where we hit that hamstring on the up let's go four and release it back down three more and we pulse three and release it this is our last two tip peel and come up and release it now on this last one let's hold it and do our pulses come up and pause little tiny beats for six and five and four tiny three keep those knees glued together two last one hold it up there hold it release it all the way down nice job take those legs nice and long onto the mat now bring the arms straight up into the ceiling with or without those weights or you might have the bands around your feet still we're rounding up so chin gently to your chest exhale let the weight of the weights reach for your toes and now reach forward out of those arms let your head be rather heavy feel the ribs lift upward and then exhale round back all the way and then reach those arms overhead big inhale here let's do that for five arms straight up lift the chest exhale reach for your toes once you're here don't let yourself collapse feel the ribs and the low back lift up as the arms reach forward and then exhale back we go round 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 and reach for four exhale up reach for those toes feel the sense of going forward the ribs lifting upward and exhale back you've got three more you can move at your own pace here you don't have to wait for me I want you to really feel like your breath and the movement are one 
letting that exhalation draw you up, reaching forward, and then exhaling back through that spine and overhead. I've got two more. You guys do you. Make sure you get your set in. Lift the heart, don't shrug the shoulders. Feel the chest rise up into the waist and then around. And release it back down. I've got one more. When you get to your last one, you're gonna hold that down. So I'm coming up and down one more time. Exhale, I'm gonna rise up, reach. And then on this one, I'm gonna go all the way down and just hold and pause. I'm gonna take those weights and turn them down to the floor. I'm gonna hang on to them, but you don't have to. You can just bring your hands to the mat if you'd like. We're gonna go into a little feeling of short spine here. So we're gonna start with a little overhead pulse. So one leg in a tabletop and then the other. Lengthen both legs up into the sky. Feel the hands pressing down into the earth and lift your toes up to the ceiling and release. Think about broadening the shoulders and up and release. Four more, squeeze the shoulder blades together, press down into the tricep, lift and release. So I've got two, you do you, one more here for me, and hold. Now here comes the short spine sort of feel of it. So I'm gonna have you lift up, you're gonna bend your knees toward your shoulders, deep low ab curl, and then just round down until your tailbone hits the mat, once your tailbone hits the mat, lengthen your legs out like frog. With long legs, come up to 90. Give me that little pulse up, bend the knees. So it's just a little, it's tiny curl. Round down through your spine, and then reach the legs out into frog. Let's do that for four. Bring the legs to 90. Little pulse up, hold it up there, bend the knees, round down, and reach. Should feel like deep core work. Let's do it for three. 90. A little pulse up, pull the knees in, round and reach. I've got two more, 90, up, curl, lengthen and reach. One more, 90, up, bend, curl and reach. Bring those legs to tabletop. We're gonna take this right into coordination. So if you've got those hand weights, Lift your arms just barely off the floor, mm -hmm. and then turn your palms to the sky. Beautiful. Curl the arms into a bicep curl, and give me a chest lift. Lift the chest up. Everything lengthens out. Open, close the legs. Pull the knees in, bend the elbows. We've got five. Everything out. Open, close. Bend and bend. Four more. Reach. Open, close. Bend and bend for three. Reach, open, close, bend, and then two more. Reach, open, close, bend, and bend. Last one, reach, open, close, bend, and bend. Release everything down and away. Let those legs go long and away. Arms straight up into the ceiling. We're gonna take this right into rowings. Exhale, chest lifts, nod the head forward. Round up, nice and tall. Beautiful, so we're gonna start our rowings. Again, weights or no weights, or bands around your feet and pull on the band. We're gonna bring those knuckles to touch. So draw the knuckles into you, lift your elbows high, drop your shoulders low. From here, you're gonna round back halfway and just hold, feel your abs draw back. Take those weights down and back so you tee out your arms. Press your arms back and dive forward. Reach the arms straight back behind you, reach them up. Take them out over your toes. Bring those knuckles back in and sit up nice and tall. Yeah, just like reformer, imagine it. One day we'll be back together. Here we go for five. Exhale, round it back. Take those weights down and back. Press the arms back, dive over your toes. Reach those arms slightly up, out, over. And back. You've got four more. Flow with your breath. Don't wait for my cues. Round back. Down and back. Press back. Dive. A little pulse up as you reach out, around, and together for three. Exhale back. Down and back. Press back. Dive. Up, 
out together and tall. I've got two more. You do you. Exhale back. Down and back. Press it back to dive and reach out over together and up. Last one for me. Round back. Down and back. Press it back. Dive forward. A little lift up. Reach out around and up and hold. Now we're going to box those arms. Yeah. Oh, good. People are getting warm. Good sign. Okay. 90 degrees. Yeah. So that box arm position. From here, we hinge back. In your hinge, take those weights overhead. It loads the abs. Then dive for your toes. So once you're there, turn the weights down. Reach the arms back, palms to the sky. Reach back out over your toes. Rebox the arms as you come up tall. You've got five. Go for your flow. Hinge back. Arms with ears as best you can. Take that all forward. Reach for your toes. Turn the palms down. Press out. Rounding the palms to the sky. Press up. Out over those toes. Rebox the arms. Restack the spine. I've got four. You do you. Reach. Inhale. Lift it all forward. And open. Press up. Bring it back forward. Rebend and tall. Halfway there. Hinge. Reach. Lengthen it all towards your toes. Turn the palms down. Go back. Reach up. Out. Back over those toes. Bend and stack. Last two. Hinge. Reach. Lengthen. Turn. Press. Press up. Take it out. Bring it back. Stack it up. One more for me. Hinge, reach, take it all to the ceiling, dive forward, palms go down, take it back, press it up, 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 take it out, over, and sit up. Nice and tall, awesome. So let's take that to rowings three and four, so we don't have to turn around, um, since we're not technically on reformer, right? So if you have weights, grab, you can hold on to them, you still have that band wrapped around your foot and hang on. From here, you're gonna turn those palms towards your feet, sit up super, super tall, nice and close in with those upper arm bones, glue them into your rib cage here. Yes, press the arms straight out in front of you. And as you're there, sit up a little taller, let your arms drop, feel your heart lift. Bring your arms up to wherever you can without flaring the ribs. Take the arms out, around, and down. Just like that, nice close arms. We press it out, we bring it up, we take it out, around and down. Yeah, for four. Out, down, up, reach, and in. Three more, just like that. Three and reach. Bring it down, inhale, get tall, open, big stretch, and bring it back in. Two more, press it out, Drop it down, bring it up, circle it out. Good, last one, nice and close. Press it out, tap it down, bring it up, reach it out, and hold. Bring your hands, your weight to your band to the floor. Bring your chin to your chest and round over your legs. From here, don't collapse again. Feel that low rib gently lifting up. Lengthen that lumbar spine. Bend the elbows softly, press the arms as close to your toes, your ankles as you can get. Just float the arms to your ears, no load in that back, so pull up through the belly. And then lengthen everything to the top, circle out, around, and down. Good, let's try it again together, one more together. We press to our toes, pull the abs in and up. Feel the arms lift, don't load the back to get there. Now let the back extend and bring you up, circle out, and down. Four more at your own pace. Reach. Inhale, lengthen. Open and down. For three. Exhale. Arms to ears. Inhale. Open it out. Two more. This is too much load. No weights, no bands, just arms. There's plenty here. Open. Reach. And down. Two more. Press it out. Arms to ears, lift it up, 
open it wide and down. This is the last one. Press it out, arms to ears, lift it up and release it down. Nice, okay. We have salute and hug a tree to go. If you have your weights, you're gonna hang on to them. If you're a person with a band, you're gonna take it behind your back, right at your shoulder blades. And grab the band from underneath the armpits and then bring the hands to sky and you can go through here. The rest of us, we're gonna hang on to those hand weights, let the elbows bend back behind our head. Let's crisscross the ankles so we can let those flexors go and feel your spine reach up. Keep the weights connected, press inhale up and exhale back. Give me five more, press it up yep, and bring it back for four and reach and back. Let that heart be slightly forward, tailbone long and back. Feel like the back muscles are pressing your arms up for three and bring it back home. My arms are burning right now, maybe yours are too, too. Give me one more here, one, and bring it back, hold. Take those arms down just for a moment, roll the shoulders down and back a couple of times, and then round them forward a couple of times, just to release that tension. We've got one more in this set, we're gonna do hug a tree. Again, if you have that band that's around and underneath your armpits, we're all gonna bring our hands forward in front of us. Weights or no weights, give you a little bit of length, check those arms. Make sure it's like a big circle. Feel that circular motion. Inhale, open, big breath. Exhale, bring those arms back together. And do that for five. Inhale, open it up. Exhale, bring it all back together. Four more, keep the shoulders down. No tension in the head or neck. For three and open and bring it back. Nice, long spine. Elbows almost the same height as your shoulders. Softness, two more, open and bring it back. This is your last one, inhale, open and release it back. Whew, let those weights go back to your sides. And now we'll come into our traditional ab series, yeah? So turn back facing the front edge of your mat if you're not already there. And we're gonna roll it all the way back down, getting ready for traditional series. Exhale, round down into the mat. Hold here, take those arms overhead. Give yourself a nice sense of reach and length. Take those arms out to a T. Let's just do a nice spinal stretch here. Let your knees sway to your left as you look over your right shoulder. Try and get that top knee over your bottom knee. And bring it back. Gaze to the sky, go to the other side. Let the legs go to the right. Gaze goes left, try and bring thigh over thigh. And back to center, one more each way. To the left as you look right. And center, and to the left as your legs go to the right. And then back to your center, and hold. We're gonna take those hands up into the, actually let's leave them at our sides. Bring one leg to tabletop, other leg to meet it. Mm -hmm. Give me that chest curl up. From here, pull your right leg deeply into you. Let your left leg fall. Deep crease in that hip. Reach it in. Inhale, exhale, switch. Inhale, exhale, back. Inhale, exhale, switch. Inhale, exhale, back. Give me four. And four. Lift the heart up into that ceiling. Three. And three. No pulling forward in the neck. Two. And two. Give me one more. One. And one. Bring both legs in. Give them a good hug. Knee to nose. Nose to knees. Good squeeze. Nice and then release it all the way down. Awesome, tabletop those legs again. Mm -hmm. Bring your hands behind your head and neck. Lift that heart up into the ceiling, let your head be heavy. Chest another inch to the sky if you can get in there. Arms and legs reach out, circle and hug. Reach everything away, circle it all in. Nothing changes from here to here as you lengthen and hug. For three, Hug it in. Lift that heart a little higher. Two. And hug it in. You've got one more. Reach. And hug it in. Hold. Release everything back to the mat. Three. Tabletop those legs. Mm -hmm. Lengthen them up into the ceiling. Give me that chest curl up towards your toes. Bring that right leg into you. Let your left leg fall towards the floor. Pulse that right leg into you two times. Pulse them in. Pull them to you. One. Two, and we switch. One, two, switch back. One, two, and switch. One, two, switch back. One, 
two, and switch, one, two, and back, two, two, and switch, two, two, and back, one more, one, one, and back, one, one, and back, both knees in, give me that good hug, release them all the way back down. Bring both legs to the sky, both hands behind that head and neck again. Lift those legs vertical to the ceiling as best you can. Chest lifts up towards your toes. Think about energetically up to the toes and then lower the legs as low as you can go without changing your low back. And then exhale back to the ceiling for five. You do you, it might be right here. You gotta be truthful about how big that range can get and drawing back through the abs. You can even look at your belly and make sure it's not going up into the ceiling as the legs lower but only go as low as you can draw down into the earth. Let's go two more like this, two, and bring it back. One more here, one, and bring it back, hold it. Bend those legs to tabletop. Try and keep your chest lifted. Lengthen your left leg crisscross to your right. Inhale, exhale, switch. Inhale, exhale, back. Inhale, exhale, switch. Inhale, exhale, back. Give me five, and five. Exhale, four, and four. Last three, and three, last two, and two, last one, and one, hold center, hug those knees to nose, nose to knees, and release it all the way back into the mat. Keep the feet on the mat, knees softly bent. Grab those hand weights once again. If you have them, place them on your hips. If you don't have them, no big deal. You can do this totally without. Six more bridges right here. Feel your spine off the floor. Feel the hips press the weights up into the sky. Or even imagine your hands as those weights. And then release it back down and forth. And for five, curl it up. Good. And release it back down. You could put your band over your hips and press your hands down. Push up against that band if that's what you've got today. Or nothing at all. Just your body weight works perfectly well here and bring it back. You've got one more. We're going to hold it up there. Walk your left foot in toward your center line, two inches. Bring your right leg in the tabletop. Lengthen them up into the ceiling. Flex that foot. Go down and up six more times. Down, up through the heel. Five, up through the heel. Four more. Reach it up. Three, pulse it up. Two more. Reach it up. One more. Reach it up. Hold it up there. Bring that right leg down. Walk that right leg two inches into your center. Left leg tabletop. Reach them up, flex them. Down and up for six. And lift for five. And pulse. Four, feel the right leg reaching up in the ceiling. Three, pulse that right hip up. Two more, two. This is our last one. Hold it up there. Bring that left leg to the mat. Pulse both hips up just a little higher and then round it all the way down. Nice. Give me long legs on that mat, arms up into the ceiling. We're gonna roll up to get up, and we're going to go into T-press. So what we would do, just like reformer, if we're laying on our belly. So exhale, lift the chest, nod the head forward, reach for your toes, and then sit up nice and tall. Beautiful, so let's turn it around and lay on our stomachs. <coughs> Lay on your belly, and from here, we're gonna T out the arms. So those arms are gonna reach out into a T. For just a moment, let your forehead, your nose, reach for the floor, yeah? And let everything go. Feel the heaviness of your legs in the mat. Try and press the crease of your hip into the mat, and when you do that, feel your belly gently lift. So when the hip bones go downward, the belly gently lifts up. From here, we're just gonna lift our head off the mat a few inches, but still facing the mat. Then just lift the arms off the floor and release everything back down. If you don't have weight, it's all good. Just lift everything off the floor and back down. We've got four. Everything comes up, everything goes back. It's little, right? For three, feel the upper back muscles. Two more, keep those hip bones heavy in the mat. You've got one more here. And release it back. Nice, now take your hands and rest them right underneath your shoulders. So draw your arms in a little bit. <laughs> and then from here, same idea. Lift up, 
and release. Couple options. You can bring the weights with you if you have them. You can come up with no weight at all. Or you can keep your hands on the mat and assist a little with your hands. Let's do that for three. Give me two more here. Two. Last one this way. One. And bring it back to the mat. Take those arms back out to T. Nose and forehead on the mat. Let's take everything up. So bring everything off the floor. Reach your arms back. Let that lift your heart a little bit more. Release the arms back out. Lay everything down. Just like T on right forward. We come up. Reach back. Let that lift your heart a little. Come back to neutral. And lay it all down. For four. Up. Reach back. Lift. Bring it back. Lay it down. Two more. Up. Reach it back. Bring it back to T. And lay it down. One more here. Up. Take it back. Lift. Back to neutral. And down. Nice. So we're going to take that to breaststroke. So bring those arms back underneath your shoulders, right? Let's do it. Even if you have weights, let's do a dry run. So let's all let the weights go. From here, everything comes off the floor. Arms and chest lift. Reach your arms out to your ears. Circle your arms back. Give yourself a little lift. Rebend the elbows and come home. Let's all do one more. No weight. Here we go. Lift up. Press out. Circle. And bring it back. You've got four more. If you want to add weight and try it, go for it. Just be mindful of that back. Lift up. Reach up. Circle. And back. For three. Everything up. Reach it out. Circle. And bring it home. Two more. Up. Reach. Circle. And back. One more here. Up. Reach. Circle and back. Nice job. Everybody bring those hands underneath your shoulders. Let your weights rest right where they are. Press back child pose. Bend the knees. Let the heels come together. Let your tailbone reach long and back behind you. And let your head drop down. Give yourself a good stretch here. Let your fingertips reach forward. Let your glutes reach back. Gently walk your right hand over to your left and let your right hip reach back toward your right heel, the right side of your mat. And then walk your hands to center and go the other side. Left hand over right. Left hip reaches for left heel, left side of the mat. Feel that left side stretch. Come to center and have a seat. Nice. So we're going to come back seated. And in this theme of kind of reformer on mat today, we're going to go into short box. So I want you to imagine you've got your feet underneath fuzzies. And if you'd like, you could put something heavy on your toes. So if you have something close by, if you're near a sofa, you could slide your toes under the sofa. So something kind of similar to a fuzzy. I'm just going to be right here so you can be with me. You're going to take your hands and gently wrap them around your low belly, give yourself a little half hug here, and then lengthen your legs out in front of you. But if your hammies are tight, you can keep a little soft bend in those knees. We're gonna round back. So feel the arm draw the belly back. Give me that round back feel. Hold here, feel the abs draw back, and then round up and around those belly muscles. And then sit up tall, yeah? Just like that for five. Exhale, belly to spine, round back, hold it in. Roll the shoulders back, though. no tension in that neck. Round back forward and sit up nice and tall. For four, exhale, belly back, round back. Hold in that quiver space, round back up. And sit up tall. Last three, we'll take it to flat back. Exhale it back. Hold, round back up and tall. Last two. Exhale, round back, reach the ears back, shoulders deeply down and away. Exhale, back up and sit up tall. This is it, last one. Round back, hold it, round back up and sit up nice and tall. 
Okay, we're gonna do this one with no weights, and then if you'd like to grab them, you can. We're gonna to go to flat back, couple of options. Hands behind the head and neck, nice tall spine, or arms to the sky. The longer the lever, the more weight, right? So choose your, your poison, and we're gonna hinge back, flat back. So we hinge back, as you're hinging back, feel your ribs wrap into each other, pull the hinge, and then hinge back up so it's not very big, right? So level one, you're here, hinge back, and hinge back, hold. Level two, arms with ears, we hinge back, and hinge back forward. And level three, arms up, hinge back with those weights. And bring it back forward, makes it a little tougher. One more, all of us, hinge up, and hinge back forward, and release everything. We're gonna take this to a little bit of twist. So now we're all gonna bring our hands behind our head and neck, even if you've got those hand weights, elbows nice and wide. Let's twist to the right and hold. Left hip stays nice and grounded, spine gets super tall, come back to center, go the other way. Twist to your left, back to center. So as we go right, left hip stays heavy, knees stay shining to the ceiling, back, left, right hip stays heavy, and bring it back. Let's add that hinge, so rotate right, now hinge back, feel like your right elbow is reaching back behind you. Come back up tall and center. To your left, hinge and reach. Right hip stays heavy. Come on up, center hold. One more each time, rotate and reach. Back and up one more. Rotate and reach. Back and up, release it. Nice job. Let go of those weights. Bend your right knee deeply into your chest. Take your right arm, reach them around your right leg, and hang on to your right wrist with your left hand. So we're gonna be here, right? Pull that leg into you, sit up nice and tall. We're gonna climb a tree. So lengthen that leg and bring him back home. And lengthen hamstring stretch and bring him back. Stay tall in your spine, two more, and bring him back. You've got one more here and bring him back. Now lengthen him up and go high up that leg with your hands, high as you can go, keeping the leg long. We're gonna walk down the leg as we roll back. So hand under hand, one, two, three, open it up, let the head drop. Now feel your chest lift up, lightness in the hands as we come up, two, three, to our toes go our heart. And again, down, two, three, you can stop here if you'd like or let it go all the way. And then light touch, exhale up, two, three, pull heart. One more down, one more up. Down, two, three, pull. Up, two, three, heart to toe, hold it. Bend that knee in, release your ankle over your left thigh, pull gently on the leg, sit up tall. And we'll switch. Take that right leg long, right? Take that left knee in. Bring the left elbow underneath. Grab that left wrist with your right hand. Sit up super tall and to the best of your ability, lengthen. That's all I got today. And reach. It's a process for me. Two more, reach. One more, reach. Hold, lengthen up wherever you can get to. Let's walk hand under hand for three. Down, two, three, hold. Feel that heart lift up to your toe. Two, three, and tall. Two more here. Down, two, three. Three, hold, up, two, three, and pause. One more, down, two, three, hold, up, two, three, hold it up there, bend that knee in, lay that ankle over, sit up really tall. And stretch that in, just gently. Nice, let's take that to single leg circles on our mat. So legs go back long. Arms go back out, exhale, round down through your spine. Once you're down all the way, hold here. You can take those arms out to T again or long at your sides. Bring your right leg straight up into the ceiling, turn them out gently. Take them over to your left, let your right hip lift, but keep that right shoulder, right hand grounded. Take it down, out, and back up. Let's do it for three. Cross it, out. And up, two more. Think of that inner thigh pulling towards the floor. Out, around and up. You've got one more here. Cross it, down, out, 
around and up, hold it, now go the other way. Take it to the right, as far as you can go without that left hip, left shoulder lifted, take it down, let the hip lift up as you circle back. Take them down, circle, exhale and lift. We're going for big circles today. Two nice big openers, one more like this. Open it up, hold it, bend that knee in, send that leg long and away. Other side, right leg tabletop, lengthen them up, turn them out, take them across your body, let that top hip lift, keep your left shoulder grounded, go to where you can, circle down, out, around and up. For three, cross it. Down, out, and up, two more, cross it. Down, out, and up, one more, cross it. Down, out, and up, hold it, go the other way, to your left, keep that right hip, right shoulder grounded. Bring it up, to your left, big circles. Two more, left, and up, one more here. Hold the up, pause, bend that knee in, bend that leg away, awesome job. Let's lay on our right side. So you're going to come on to your right. Your legs are going to be nice and long. You're going to reach down into that right arm forearm and lift your right ribs off the floor. Yeah. Now, if this is too much for your shoulder, feels like too much load, you can always go down the center of your mat and be here. So we're all going to come up. You can take your left hand to the mat, to your hip or behind your head. You can kind of pick your poison here. Feet slightly forward, 45 degrees. Let's just lift and lower and lift and lower for four and down for three and down. Two more, two and we lower. One more here, one and we lower. Hold, let's take it to four side line circles. Press down into the right forearm, lift the right ribs a little. Left leg forward, up, around and down. Forward, up, leg over leg. Two more, forward, up, leg over leg. One more here, forward, up, leg over leg. Hold, reverse it, come up, in front, and back. Up, in front, and back. Two more, up, in front, and back. Last one, up, in front, and back, and hold. Good, bend your knees into you slightly. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna come up onto our right hand and send the right knee in and the left leg long. So we did this one, if you were with us on Friday, we did this one with Karen. Left elbow to the sky, right hand to the floor. Lift and lower just that top leg for six and five. Same thing we did on the floor, we have four. Three more and then we're gonna bicycle. Two more. Last one, hold it up there. Bend your knee, bring your heel to your butt, open the front of your hip. Now bring your knee forward, kick your leg forward, reach them along and back behind you for three. Heel to butt, knee forward, leg forward, reach it back. Two more, heel to butt, knee forward, leg forward, long and back. One more, heel to butt, knee forward, leg forward, back, hold, reverse it. Bring your leg forward. Bring your heel to your glute, open the leg back, press into your heel. Leg forward, heel, press and reach. Two more, long leg forward, bend the knee, press back into your heel, open the hip, bring it back. One more, heel to butt, press it back, open it, bring it forward, just in line with your torso and lay it down. Nice job. From here, you're gonna rest that right hip down and keep your knees kind of stacked in this mermaid-like position. Let your legs lengthen just a little. Take that right arm, reach them out about 45 degrees. We're gonna side plank. So you're gonna press down into the right arm, lift the hips up, hold, and release it back. I need to come to my mat so I've got some grip. Just for four. Press down, lift, and release. Three more. Press it and lift the left hip up. And bring it back. Just for two. Lift him up. And release it back. Just one more here. Lift him up. Hold. Left hand to the sky if you can. Reach him overhead. Palm to the sky. Open that hip just a little deeper. 
soften the knees, come down. And just slide your legs to the other side. And we'll do the whole thing in the opposite direction, yeah? So left forearm to the mat, back leg slightly forward, a little boomerang position. Again, you can be long and down on the mat here if that's a little too much for your shoulder. And let's just lift and lower. And lower option with the arm to the hip, behind the head. Yeah, let's go three more here. Three, just two more, that's two. Trying to work from the side of the hip, not the back one. Good, we lift him up, hold him. Let's swing him forward, bring him up, leg over leg for three. Sweep him forward, up, leg over leg. Keeping that lifter lifted forward, up, Leg over leg, one more. Forward, up, leg over leg, hold. Go the other way, go up, in front, and back. For three, in front, and back. Two more, two, in front, and back. One more, one, in front, and back, and hold. Bring those knees in a little. Prop yourself up. Come to that left knee underneath you. Right leg long, hand behind the head. We're back to just those lift and lowers. Lift and lower for six, so five more. Body between a sheet of glass so you're not forward here. We're back nice and stacked, two. Give me one more. Now lift him up, hold him. Here we go. Bring him, bend that knee, heel to butt. Kick the leg back behind you. Bring him forward, heel to butt. Reach it back, bring it. Two more, heel to butt, reach it back, bring it forward. One more, heel to butt, reach it back, bring it forward, reverse it, bring it back, heel to butt, knee forward, lay forward, back, heel to butt, knee forward, lay forward. Two more, back, knee, reach and lengthen. One more, back, in, knee, reach and lengthen, hold. Come on down. Take those legs kind of stacked out a little bit. Take that left hand, reach them away a little bit. Hand behind that head again, if you can get there. If you need a leg, I'll show you the modification. We're gonna go down and up for four here. So you're gonna come up and release the back. So that's a nice modification. Keep that knee down, lift up through the ribs, or go for the full reach. And soften and back. Let's go two more, two. And bring it back. Now on this last one, come up and hold. Reach that arm up. Take him overhead, palm in the sky. Open, stretch it. Reach, 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 reach. And all the way down. Nice, have a seat on your mat. Take those legs out for saw. So heels separate out about the width of your mat. Sitting up tall, if you need a little softness in the knees, take it. Arms out to T. You could grab your hand weights for this one as well if you'd like. Hammerhead those weights. Let's go to the right. Rotate right. Exhale. Round now. Reach for your toes. Soft. One, two, three. Stack the spine. Come back to center. Rotate left. Turn that left palm up. Soft. One, two, three. Stack and center. Let's do two more each side. To the right. Exhale, round over, one, two, three, stack back up tall, and come center to the left. Left hand to the sky, right hand, one, two, three, tall, and center, one more each way. Rotate, can we fall to one, two, three, get up tall, come through your center, last time, left, and one, two, three, come up tall, and center and hold. Really nice, release those weights if you have them. And we're gonna take this now, a little bit of teaser and then swan and then teaser, actually swimming I should say. So we're gonna take it from teaser. So make sure you have a little bit of room on the side of your mat and I'll show you where we're going. <laughs> so knees bent in that sort of um, flat back space, yeah. And then from here, we're gonna take one leg into tabletop and then the other. You can hang on to the back of the legs to find that. And then from here, find the best teaser you've got. 
hold. Now I'm gonna roll to you. So you're gonna take your teaser, reach them away, and roll over onto your stomach. Hold here, and we're gonna swim. One, two, three, four, hold. Now to the best of your ability, roll back onto your back. Come up into your teaser. I know, hold your teaser. Nice, come back onto your back. We're going to the right. Roll over onto your stomach to your right. Hold and swim. One, two, three, four. To the best of your ability, try not to use your arms. Roll back. Teaser it up. Two more each side. Hold that teaser. Release it down. Arms go back. Legs go forward. Try and roll onto your stomach with your hands overhead. Pause once you're down there and swim. One, two, three, four. Try and keep your arms long. Use your belly muscles. Come to center. Teaser it up. Hold it, come back down, arms overhead, roll onto your belly, and we swim. One, two, three, four, this is it, last one on each side. Rotate back to your back. Get ready, teaser it up, exhale. Hold your teaser, get a little taller, lift a little higher, release it with control, arms overhead, roll onto that belly, just swim. One, two, three, or this is it, last one. Come on, onto your back. I needed my arms for that one. Teaser it up, hold it, release it. Arms overhead, last time, roll over to your left. Last swim, one, two, three, four, hold. Roll back onto your bellies. Last teaser, exhale it up. Hold it, hold it, release it all. Arms overhead, big breath in, big exhale out. One more nice big inhale in, big exhale out. Awesome. Lay on your left side, bending your knees into a 90 degree angle. So thigh to torso, thigh to shin, arm over arm here. Stack your hands like you're clapping long arms. Final twist through the thoracic spine. So take that right arm up into the ceiling and then take them back behind you. Try and keep your legs stacked and take the back of your right shoulder to the floor. And then bring it back and clap the arms back together. And let's do that for four more. Inhale, the arms up over the chest. Big breath, gaze, feet and go to your right. Glue the inner thighs together and back to center. Three more here. Open the inhale. Exhale, bring it back. Last two. Big inhale, nice upper back rotation. It should feel pretty good. And bring it back to center. And just one more like this. Big open inhale. And back to center. Now you guys can just flip over into the other side, just so I'm not, my butt's not facing the camera. I'm gonna switch sides here so I can still see you. Same thing, stack those legs, bring the arms out in front of you, lay your head down on the mat, and then inhale, open up. Try and get the back of your left shoulder to the mat just as heavy as your right. Knees stay nice and stacked, and bring it back. And do it for four. Big breath in, inhale, fill the lungs, feel that nice stretch. And bring it back. Last two, I believe, but you do you. Take your time, let the breath open you up, kind of settle you out. And back. One more here, nice big inhale in, open breath. And bring it back. Good, hold it back, lay right down on your backs. And we're gonna roll up together. So taking those arms to the sky, nice big exhale, lift the chest, nod the head forward, reach for your toes, lengthen out. Sit up nice and tall, crisscross your ankles, bring your hands to the front of the mat, walk your knees underneath your hips, shoulders and wrists in alignment. Let's do a little cat cow here, yeah? Tuck in round the spine. Inhale, flare, reach, look forward and up. Exhale, tuck round and curl. 
Inhale forward and up. One more. Exhale, tuck round and curl. Inhale forward and up. Hold. Walk your left hand into center just a little bit, or towards center, I should say. Take your right hand out to the side of the room. You're going to thread your right arm underneath your left. Bend your left elbow and let your right shoulder rest on the floor and let your hips gently drift back towards your heels. Let your ear even find the floor here. And then come back through center, sweeping that arm back out to your right. One more on this side. Thread the right arm under the left. Let your hips reach back. Let your right shoulder get heavy. Let your right ear get heavy. And then come up through center, reach. Other side, right hand just left of center. Left hand out, thread your left hand underneath your right armpit, lay down on your left shoulder, let your right elbow bend, and then send your hips gently back behind you. Let your ear and your left shoulder be heavy. Come back up, reach it back out. One more time, thread that hand under, lay down on your left shoulder, Glutes go back. And then bring that hand back in through. Come back to all fours. Reach your right leg long and back behind you. Feel that right heel reach. Left leg meets right. Feel a nice, strong plank position. Last pike of the day. Pike those hips up and back. Feel the difference in your legs now than when we started. Feel that reaching of the back of the thighs to the wall behind you. Your tailbone up into the ceiling. Gently walk your hands for your toes. One, two, three, and four. Let everything hang out here. Maybe grab opposite elbow with opposite hand. Let it all be heavy. Come back to that shaking of the head, yes and no. Relaxing and releasing the shoulders, maybe even then you'll circle out a little bit. And then release the arms long in into the mat. Let your weight gently rock forward. And then exhale, round up. Nice and tall. Give me one more nice big inhale in. Reach up. Thank you all for coming. I miss you now every day. It was a long weekend. Take those arms down. Bring your hands to heart 